Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer sent from Johan. I'm absolutely loving his beer sent from Johan. It is another experience for me. This is the next experience along the line. It is Trappist Rochefort 8. There's the bottle cap. Here's the bottle. Wow, this new camera angle is um, really letting the bottle pick up nicely. Really happy with that. Okay, without further ado, let's get this beer cracked. Oh! oh, oh. Whoops. Okay, there you go. Let's get, <laughs> Let's get this beer cracked and into a glass. Isn't it good that the sink's underneath me? Normally goes all over my floor. Oh, can you hear that? Wow, that is fizzing away like a cola. That really is. Okay, that is more like it. Um, the Rochefort 10 was meant to be an extremely lively beer. It, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it was the Rochefort 10. It, it wasn't. This one really has. Oh, look at that! Look at that colour. This one really has shown the what a beer can do, what this type of beer can do, and it's what I expect from a Belgian beer as well. One thing ahead white kind of frothy head that you know is dissipating quite quickly the carbonation is streaming Let's see if we can get that streaming up the the glass nicely can you see that let's get the nose then oh yes oh that is fantastic that Belgium spice. Oh, and it is so fruity. It's like jam. It's like um, it's like a very very small hint of strawberry jam. Oh, this smells wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Cheers, Johan. I'm getting into this one. Oh yes. It's like a toffee, jammy, spicy, A little bit maybe walnutty, but maybe a little almond in there. It's quite fizzy. The carbonation is fizzing on my tongue a little bit as I was pushing around. I'm just looking for the ABV. It's 9.2% ABV. The reason I was looking is because as this beer was going down, I really could feel it warm in the insides of my stomach. Oh, this is a treat. This is a real treat. Hint of cherry cola in there as well. There's a hint of cherry cola. And in all honesty, out of all the Trappist beers I've tried, Mind you, this reminds me a little bit of the Daz Brewing, D A A S Brewing, their Amber. This reminds me a little bit of their Amber, that kind of <coughs> almost confectionery taste you get in the beer. Mm. 
and dare I say it, but Young's Special London Ale. This has got that kind of sweetie confectionery type taste that is there. Um, it's a lot to do with the yeast. It's a it's a lot to do with the perhaps Saz hops that are being used in this beer. It is slightly spicy, so that's why I'm leaning towards that suggestion in my head. But the yeast is a predominant flavour in this beer. Again, it's a slightly dry beer as well. It's, a, it's slightly, it kind of dries your mouth. I, I'm really enjoying the levels of carbonation in the beer. Now what I want to do at this stage is get it washed around and really get my nose in there to release some of these fantastic aromas that I'm sure are there. Oh, and it, it's, it just mimics the taste. It just mimics the taste, but it, it really does... When you give that beer a good rigorous wash round, it gives it that, it releases them fantastic aromas that are in the beer. And you can just, I don't know if you can hear, I think the, the microphone's around here somewhere, you can just hear the fizzing, the head's dissipating away on itself after I've washed it round. Do you know, I haven't talked about the colour. The colour of beer, it is quite different from what you're seeing. Um, I think it's the reflection off the window. Pardon me. But it's it's a darker, it's more like what it is up the top. It's like a really dark, reddy, really deep, deep colored brown, bronze colored beer. <laughs> the head is off white. Is it bottle conditioned? Yes it is, there's just a bit of yeast on the bottom. But it's that confectionery, that really nice confectionery, lovely, fruity, sweety, niceness that I'm enjoying about this beer. Uh, is there any information I can give you? I don't think there is. Uh, no. Unfortunately, but it's from the Abbey St. Remy, B5580 Rochefort. Okay, 9.2%, 33 cent a bottle. What do I give the Rochefort 8? What do I give it? I like it. I think it's the best Trappist beer I've tried so far. It's, for me, anyway, for me, it's right up there with West Flatarian 12. Um, reviewed that here on the channel if you want to have a look at that one, but yeah, it's right there with that. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm very impressed with that. So I'm going to leave it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for the Real Elk Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. I'll always answer. Before I go, huge thank you to Drink Like a Fish. Oh, can you see that? Drink Like a Fish. Who's had this t-shirt made up for me? Order it on the real .co uk store if you want to. Um, subscribe if you like and cheers.